Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor speaker is a man of intelligence and wit. His hands are definitely much faster than our eyes because he can do great magic. He is a man with a big heart. I am a witness and recipient of his generosity many times. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get inspired by his wisdom and insights. The Chief of Staff, Philippine Army, Major General Robert Musli Arevalo, our force of the Philippines. Maraming salamat at magpukuha niyong lahat. Na-overwhelm ako ngayon. Akala ko tayo tayo lang eh. And then, we also have the media outfit here with us. And that's great. Okay, but first of all, allow me to acknowledge the presence of our our stakeholders no, and our friends with the military. Natutuwa ko ako kahapon, since we speak the news media here, no? uh, maraming salamat po in behalf of the Philippine Army, the Armed Forces, in fact, uh, for the yung one minute na uh, what is shown on television. In, when, uh, in fact, this morning, no, George uh, Carino, you're still there, yes. Thank you very much, dun sa, no, yung, they keep on airing yung uh, yung parang with the sound of taps at the background tapos yung mga pictures ng mga namatay natin mga kasundaluhan nakaka-antik po ng damdami yung mga ganyan mga and finally we really need the media to help us in this fight because it's not only our fight I hope this will be a unified factor for all of us big sabi ko hindi naman to laban lang ng ng uh, armed forces, but this is uh, the fight for our freedom of the Philippines. Okay, uh, first of all, let me acknowledge you know, our friends. Uh, of course, we have the Multi-Sectoral Advisory Board of CIMO, who is the uh, partner here of uh, one of the uh, operator for the activities this morning. We have blended by its chairperson, uh, Mr. Jose F. Perez, the third piece, right to be recognized. We also have Mr. Kenneth John Monte Grande, the Head Strategic Communications Committee. And Ms. Celia Villalobos, a, uh, the member of the Resource Generation Committee. We also have some of our stakeholders this morning with us. We have from the, uh, of course, uh, I should not uh, miss out my my principal is there, no? Uh, we have Ms. Kat, Kat, uh, Catherine Yesia, the president of JCI San Juan Tambani. I think sabi na nila, they started this as a concept lang a week ago, or a week after, a few days after Maral incident, and then uh, finally it came to fruition, uh, just from a concept, just from a dream, now it comes to a reality. We also have Ms. Uh, Colleen Cazuelo, the past uh, president, also here with us. Colleen? Uh, and of course, our other friends are from the Basis Conversion Development Authority. We have Lani. Lani Makasai. Nice to meet you again. Nag-uusap lang tayo. Pag nakikita lang po kami, pag pinag-uusapan namin yung ano, yung mga Fort Bonifacio basis eh. At saka yung mga kampo ng ano ng militar. Okay, we also have uh, Brigadier General Carlos Quita, sir, the Vice President for Public Services. We also have from the Minimum Meaningful Travel, we have the Director, we have Ms. Uh, Anna Mariconana. Thank you very much for this invitation this morning. And, uh, and of course, we have also with us uh, some of the Army personnel, Army officer, we have uh, the, the camp commander, the commander of headquarters, headquarters support. We have uh, Brigadier General Del Mauro Alarcon. And of course, uh, the group commander of SIMO, uh, we have Colonel Tom Cetano. And uh, Father, the deputy uh, Army chaplain, we have Colonel Richard Fernando. 
and uh, the other members of the Philippine Army. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And of course, uh, I, I, I'm sorry for if I was able to mention the rest of the video. Okay. Uh, before I start, no, allow me, I was going over my Viper, my Facebook. And uh, you know, sometimes you, meron talaga uh, may mga inspirational stories na babasa kayo through Viper. And this is the time talaga when when the siguro mababa yung uh, medyo nalulungo tayo because of what's happening. And I think we have to lift the spirit of the, the members of the soldiers. No? Let me read it if you don't mind. And I, it's uh, on Facebook. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us the freedom to demonstrate. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. And it is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves the flag, whose coffin is draped in the flag that allows the protester to burn the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, we celebrated our 119th Independence Day through a simultaneous flag-raising ceremony nationwide. Napaka, napaka sentiment, napaka ano po, napaka bagdag ba? Bagdagdag damit. Kasi even in Marawi, as much as they would like to raise the flag, but they were under fire. Tayo po, pinagbabaliwala lang po natin ang mga flag-raising natin sa Queen Lunes ni Umaga. Tumada lang po tayo, hindi natin na hindi tayo rumirespeto, pinapabiyan lang po natin, bali wala. Pero this time, I think you can see, if you have seen the, the TV last night no, during the news, you can see na talagang as much as some of the parts of the country would like to raise the flag, but they can because they are under attack. But we try to make sure that the Philippine flag is still will still be flying will still be flown. So, ika isang daan at sa pagunita ng ika sa isang daan at labing siyam na taon ng ating araw ng kalayaan napapanahon ang tema ng ating pagdiruyang tinaguriang kalayaan 2017 pagpapagong sama-sama natin balikatin. Ladies and gentlemen, as we stand here today, our soldiers continuously fight in the battlefield of Marawi City. It is a fight against terror. It is a fight for peace. And it is a fight that our troops are willing to take so that every Filipino who believes that we, as a race, no matter how diverse our ethnic backgrounds are, no matter how diverse our cultures may be, and no matter how difficult, different in the ways we praise a supreme being, should live harmoniously, should live with respect, and should live under one flag in a country that is secured and peaceful. At sa kasalukuyan, ang Pilipinas ay muli na namang nahaharap sa isang pagsubok Bonsod ng mga kaharasan, inahasik ng mga nagtatangkang pigilin ang patuloy na pagkusbong ng kapayapaan sa ating bansa. Subalit hindi kailanman matitinag ang sandatang lakas sapagkat nananalaytay sa bawat isa ang dugong magiging at makabayan. Every inch of Marawi taken back by our soldiers has been hard fought, with some paid with the ultimate sacrifice. Indeed, it is a tough fight, and as this war against terrorism wages on, it has demanded every toughness our soldier can master. But we continue on for every innocent civilian displaced, any innocent life that gets caught in the crossfire, just toughens our resolve to put an end against a menace 
that is anti-peace, anti-humanity, and anti-Filipino. Like any human being, our soldiers get tired too. But their fighting spirit pushes them every single day. And where do they draw their strength? From all of you. From the belief that they fight for the love of our country. And from the belief in them by the people they are fighting for. Napakalaking bagay ang magpapakita ng bawat Pilipino ng pagtitiwala at pagsasalamat sa ating mga sundalo. Ito ay lalong nagpapatibay ng kanilang loob at nagbibigay ng lakas sa kanila na ipagpatuloy ang laban. This is what young leaders like you from the Junior Chambers International San Juan Dambana chapter are doing, performing faithful service for our country in partnership with the Civil Military Operations Group, Philippine Army, including operations, hashtag, Ogo Marawi. Let us please give them a round of applause. <laughs> but of course, aside from me, there are other organizations as well, like ECDA. We have also, uh, I almost forgot, no? Ms. Pradex Prasendes Yutan. I'm sorry, Yutan. Uh, the first Kick for Peace Foundation. Please rise to be recognized as well. More than 2,000 na MRE. Yung kanina kung may naanong sabi ko ngayon, sana ang snacks natin mamaya. So, yung wait up, ang galing yun po yung mga pagkain dyan. We can, ano, we can, mga uh, hot hot uh, ready to eat meal. I have common corn beef, juice, and, uh, and not only not only packs, no, not only meal ready to eat, they are also giving livelihood programs for those uh, yung mga namatayan natin mga kas mga family ng kasandaluan. So palapak pantukod natin. As mentioned a while ago by Colonel uh, Sedano, Ogo means help, tulong o tapang in the local dialect of Marawi. This initiative from the Philippine Army Civil Military Operations Group and JCI, and of course with other partners and stakeholders, to establish a relief operations center and donations collection point here at the headquarters Philippine Army is truly very, very timely and a welcome, commendable endeavor. Let us please give them a round of applause for both JCI. And of course, uh, we would like this time we would like to acknowledge, no? Uh, as mentioned a while ago, there are three, parang three sub projects. First is the relief goods, which uh, yung nakita natin kanina, the green pack, no? Just a symbol, symbolic uh, handover a while ago. Uh, this one, uh, that includes uh, groceries, and there are also pajamas as well, no? Sarap matulog. Sana makatulog yung mga sundalo natin, and these are intended for uh, relief goods, no? Relief goods. We also have the project uh, shoebox. Uh, the project shoebox is the uh, regular project of CIVOC and uh, JCI. And of course, uh, si Ms. Uh, uh, Tan as well uh, men mentioned that she also gives those. No? And what's inside the shoebox are for the students, no? mga school supplies. And uh, of course, we have the bayanihan para sa bayani ng bayan. So a lot of times so we give back, we give to the people the very sundalo natin and uh, nakakalimutan natin this time it's for the soldiers yun nga yung yung binigay ni Ma'am Dan no? that includes yung uh, uh, MRE and of course uh, uh, the hygiene kits from BCBA there are about more than 2,000 no? hygiene kits so that includes socks, toothbrush, face soap, shampoo, face towel, and socks. Palakutan po natin sila. May alcohol din po doon. Kaya alam, maraming alcohol doon. Hindi po alcohol na iinom yun. No? Wala sila kung time na iinom doon. Again, let's give each uh, our benefactors a round of applause. 
Here you are not only extending a helping hand to the innocent civilian displaced by the conflict, you are showing your solidarity to support to our troops in the front lines. Ladies and gentlemen, in this time when our hope for peace is not our best ally, an organization like the JCI, the BCDA, the First Kick for Peace Foundation, and all the media personality as well, media outfit as well, an organization like them will give that glimmer of sunshine for our innocent fellow Filipinos caught in the conflict that need our help. Every effort, every act of kindness does not only deliver relief to meet their basic needs, it also brings hope and relief to their spirits for every act of kindness is a message of support for peace. Therefore, let me commend your effort in advance. Let me also thank you on behalf of every troop fighting in Marawi and for every person who will be the recipient of your benevolence. Your efforts are proof that patriotism is not only earned by fighting the war. Patriotism is still not lost in the youth of today. Rather, it is manifested in small acts of kindness in support of a greater cost. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember that our soldiers deployed in the field are not only fighting the enemies of the state, they are also fighting the worries that the peace they are fighting for will be put into waste when people like you do not do anything or people like you do not pitch in to maintain and protect the hard earned peace. At sa ating pagtuloy na paglaban, ating taas noong kinikilala ang kabayanihan ng ating mga kasamahan nag-alay ng kanilang buhay alang-alang sa kalayaan at kapayapaan ng ating bansa. Magpatuloy tayong magtulungan at magdamayan dalang at sa ating mga puso't isipan ang inspirasyon ng kanilang walang kapantay na pagmamahal sa bayan at pagbubuwis ng buhay para sa ating kalayaan. Sa hapon ng temang Kalayaan 2017, pagbabagong sama-samang balikatan, balikatin, magsama-sama tayo at magbayanihan at patuloy natin pangalagaan at bantayan ang kalayaan ng Pilipinas at mga pamayanang pinaghariyan ngayon ng kaharasan, kaharap kaguluhan. Sa ating paya at hamak na gawain o kontribusyon o donasyon, tayo ay may malaki at malagang bahagi sa pagsulong ng kapayapaan, kalayaan at pagbabago. May you never tire reaching out to our troops and the displaced people of Marawi. Help them in kind, help them in prayer, help them find peace. Mabuhay ang JCI, ang BCDA, ang First King at ang lahat ng ating mga, mga tumutulong sa atin. Mabuhay ang buong ng Pilipinas. Muli magandang umaga sa ating lahat.